on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com there is a war it's happening now it will decide the fate of humanity the time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. And if you are watching and listening to this global transmission, my friends, make no mistake, you are the resistance. It is the 10th day of February 2014. And please never thank me for what we do on air. It is an extreme honor to be broadcasting worldwide and resisting the globalist. It is an extreme honor to be alive and able to resist these people. It is an absolute imperative to fight the globalist. It is not something you thank somebody for. I'm simply trying to survive and build a future for my family and your family in a good world together based on justice and building, not on based on fraud and lies and deceit and gangs and destruction. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Again, they're acting like they have the moral high ground with the anti-gun movement. Oh, it's for the children. Have care about the kids at Sandy Hook. Care about the children. Don't you want more to die? And we need to say, how dare you when mass shootings 
are flat. Overall gun deaths are down 51% since 92, just department-owned numbers. Wherever you have more guns, you have less crime. People are using firearms to frustrate and stop crime. Literally, I kept saying 14 times. That was one Justice Department number. They've got new numbers out that have been independently gathered. I was seeing a few weeks ago, 70 plus times. Every time there's an actual crime with a gun, guns are used to stop crime. They have domesticated and disarmed everyone else but a handful of countries. Switzerland, the United States, and the UN openly said July 7th, 2001 that they want a worldwide gun confiscation plan in their Unidir meeting. Go look it up. They said civilian ownership of firearms threatens a legitimate power monopoly of the state and that the main goal is the abolition of private ownership of firearms, period. I just quoted it to you. Go look it up. You can type in what I just said and pull it up on their website. They're open about it in their own policy papers and then go, we don't want your guns. We don't, we don't, there's no death panels in Obamacare. There's no doubling prices. You can keep your doctor. That that's all lies of those conspiracy people that read the bill. And of course, Feinstein's been truthful and said we want to ban guns. Michael Moore has been truthful before and said the goal is to ban guns. Obama, as a state senator, you can read his quotes in the newspaper where they would send out questionnaires. When he was running for Senate, got into the state Senate, got into the federal Senate, he said, I want a total gun ban. The goal is to ban guns and have a, quote, peaceful society, except they have all the guns. See, they don't lay their guns down in government. They're arming to the teeth with war wagons, tanks, helicopters, billions of rounds of ammo, training to take over major cities. That's why the military's totally waking up, because they've got them in these briefings at the non-commissioned officer level and up openly preparing for war with us. And the troops are going, this is all true? All these years, what all the conspiracy people said? Where do you think we learned all this? High-level military leaks. That's why we know the whole game plan. So if we lose this fight, we, we deserve it, folks. We've got the entire enemy attack plan. We know they're an enemy. We know they're usurpers. We know they're illegitimate. I'm getting chills right now. We know they're horrible and want to shut this country down and re-educate us, basically. They, the globalists have a score to settle with America because we were free compared to other nations. They want to extinguish that. The globalists are generational. They want to destroy you because of who your great-grandparents were, folks. You better get with the program and understand this. I can't believe we even have to have a debate about what side you should join out there if you work in the system. It doesn't mean you have to do a bunch. You got to do a little bit. You got to leak information. You got to legally and lawfully slow down. You got to sabotage. Legally and lawfully, there's lots of ways to not go along with the criminal tyrants. You've got to identify who else is awake. You've got to get prepared. And, and when you can, or if you're committed, go public, speak out. Everybody can do different things. And together, we will bring down this system as individuals. This system is designed to bring us down. It's designed to bring down productivity and independence. We must bring down the system that is designed to bring us down. We're being fed into a collective wood chipper. We have to sabotage the engine. We have to blow the engine. They're already literally shutting our power plants down, our factories, our small businesses trying to sabotage the young and impressionable minds of young children, screwing them up in school with two plus two equals five. And, you know, everybody's got two daddies and five-year-olds need to learn how to masturbate with the perv schools trying to push inoculations and all this other garbage and abortions and all the rest of it. I mean, this is a wall of crooks that we've put up with. Who at the end of the day are mentally ill, are psychopathic, are sadistic, and literally love screwing up good, wholesome things. I was looking, and nobody was perfect back then, and there were the evils of that day as well, but I was looking at uh, high school yearbook annuals for a memorial for my uncle coming up next week uh, with all his friends and military buddies coming into town from all over the country that I'm going to be uh, speaking at. And we were going through all the photos and stuff at my grandmother's house on Saturday. Uh, she's almost 90 years old. And, I mean seeing pictures of my uncle, you know, winning the hurdles and what good shape he was in and how everybody looked so healthy and so good. And, and they had like posture awards at McCallum High School where he went to school and uh, here in Austin. And, and it was all about, uh, you know, uh, 
awards for being honorable and like you know helping disabled children and just and, and people were really into that they were really be into being good but the evil system manipulated their goodness to carry out evil missions later and to literally empower this systematic takeover of the planet while the globalists were also attacking that goodness and undermining America at the same time. Because it's full spectrum attack. It's full spectrum takeover. So here is the top story, ladies and gentlemen. Mayors, nationwide gun confiscation is goal of mayors against illegal guns. And the headline really should be, and it's a good headline, it should be, Mayor blows the whistle on secret gun confiscation plan. I mean, this is so big that he's in the meetings with mayors for a disarmed enslaved America should be the real name. And then we have the, the mayor pro, pro TM in Austin, who's part of Bloomberg's group on record, trying to get gun shows banned, trying to get everything registered, saying to somebody with a sign that says, don't take my guns. We're going to play that clip in a moment. Don't worry. We're not going to do that now, but after we do this registration, remember last year where they're trying to pass that, we're going to do that. You're going to need that sign. The incredible evil that they go on the news and say, this is just reasonable. Nobody wants to take your guns. That's a conspiracy theory. Don't listen to those people when it's their stated goal of the UN, Handgun Control Incorporated, the Violence Policy Center, all of it. They're literally like in the military in World War I with loudspeakers. The Germans started it and then the British picked it up. They would, they would say in English... We're, we, you know, your people have surrendered. We're coming over. Put your hands up and we won't shoot. You don't have to fight. You don't have to die. And people would panic in the trenches and drop their guns. And you'd have the officers going, no, it's a ruse. No, no, you're lying. You're lying, Colonel. It's not a ruse. I get to not fight. I get to go home to mommy. And the Colonel had to pull his sidearm and start shooting his own troops. And then the Germans would come pouring over. Rah! Just start slaughtering, rah, bayonetting. It's the same deal. We're not, we're not coming for your guns. There's no Obamacare increasing prices. There's no socialist takeover. There's no plan to legalize the illegals, even though we are going to do it. There's no plan to, to fund and arm Al-Qaeda. Nothing happened in Benghazi. On and on and on and on. It's a military tactic. Of which it's, we're not going to take your guns. We just take them everywhere. We're in control, every city, every country. It's just like Mars attacks. Don't run. We are your friends. You guys cue it up. I mean, this might as well be the uh, the White House's uh, announcement. Don't run. We are your friends. And it works. People in the movie put their hands up when they say, don't run, we're your friends. And they see the aliens shoot people and they disintegrate and they still put their hands up. And, and you know, that's actually how it works. I could walk up with a hatchet and go, don't block this because I'm not going to hit you in the head with it and just hatchet you in the head. Again, it's like that scene in Save It Priving Ryan. We need to find that scene where he's beating the German soldier. They're rolling around with daggers, with bayonets. And, and that's actually really happened in, in war. And he goes, shh, let's be friends. And he, he, he gives up for a minute. And he gets the initiative and drives that knife right into him. And, and, you know, we have all their battle plans. If we sit here and believe these deceitful liars, we get what we deserve. The point I'm getting at here is it's such a big idea and it's so simple. But at the same time, I can't even say it. It's so incredible. They are treacherous enemies taking over for corporate interests that want to monopolize and control the economy and make us poor to control us. They've taken the guns. They're lying to the public saying they don't want to take them. I know you know their plan is to take them. But you've got to get this info out to everyone and say, listen, do you understand the government's arming to the teeth and corporate interests are while they want to disarm the general public? Do you understand that actual gun crime is dropping because gun ownership is increasing? Do you understand the gun culture is actually seen as sexy and cool and all the liberals are buying guns? Look, women in bikinis with guns could save the planet. You make guns a sex symbol again, which is starting to happen. It's over. It's over, folks. That's why we have a big centerfold of a bunch of fast cars, American Eagles and, and Leanne McAdoo with, with, with 50 caliber rifles in the new uh, February issue. Because that's how we're going to win, is with our own symbols of what's good and wholesome and strong versus the horrible, broke-back, globalist, weak, dependent, welfare, uh, crime-ridden Chicago, New York, big-city crime boss cesspits. 
Okay, we have to get on the offensive and say, listen, you little dirty, stinking, grimer, warm tongue, speaking in our ear, telling us stand down, telling us go along, telling us we're done. No, we recognize you as the enemy, as a fraud. We don't listen to anything comes over your loudspeakers. You're Tokyo Rose saying later.